Hi everyone. Today we're going to make salad with meatballs. Now the inspiration for this dish came from a ballerina several years ago who I saw post her lunch to her Instagram and I thought, what a brilliant idea, salad and meatballs. When I was growing up, we used to end our meal with salad all the time. So my mom would make a big bowl of salad and have it on the table and then afterwards we would pass it around, we'd each take a little scoop on our plate. And on Thursdays it was always spaghetti night and sometimes the tomato sauce would mix in with the salad a little bit oh, and it was just so good. So. It's the kind of thing that like, if you know, you know. <laughs> so by the end of this video, you're gonna know, because I'm gonna show you how to make salad with meatballs and how the wonderful flavors go together. The first thing we're going to do is make the meatballs. Now, when I was a little girl, my mother would brown the meatballs in a frying pan and then finish them off in the tomato sauce. But in later years, she started making a healthier version where she would brown the meatballs in the oven and you would see the fat render out of them and then she would add the meatballs to the tomato sauce. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So now let me show you how I mix up my meatballs. Now comes the fun part. I'm gonna keep this really simple. I have some salt and pepper. I have one egg for this amount of meat. And I have about a third a cup of breadcrumbs. Seems like a lot, but it's not really. You're gonna need it. This helps bind it all together. Now, if you're gonna be a good cook, you can't be afraid to get your hands dirty, so let's just get squishing. So keep squishing until you get something looks like one big meatball. <laughs> so you can make your meatballs any size you want. Just grab a little bit, roll it around in your hands until you get a nice, perfect meatball. I've prepared a baking sheet with some parchment. I sprayed it with some non-stick cooking spray. So make sure you do spray it because they will stick. Just keep going like that until you get through all your meat. Okay, here's our tray of meatballs. We're going to put it in the oven now at 325 degrees, just until they brown and you'll see the fat render out. It'll probably take about 10 to 15 minutes depending on your oven. So this is what they look like when they came out of the oven. You can see the fat rendered out. You can just give that a little wipe and then plunk them right into the sauce. So now we'll just finish these off in the sauce. And if you need a good tomato sauce recipe, I'll put a link to my tomato sauce recipe up above. It's two different ways that you can make tomato sauce. One is a quick way and one is a slower way. Now let's make our salad. Now I've made a beautiful, colorful salad with a mix of red and green lettuces, a little bit of iceberg, some cucumber, red onion, tomatoes, a little bit of carrot, some radishes. Now for this recipe, you're gonna to wanna to use an Italian vinaigrette. That works best. And now we can just add our meatballs. today. I hope you thought that recipe was fun. And although that recipe does not appear in my new cookbook, The Flexitarian Cookbook for Beginners, it very well could be. It's so easy to be a flexitarian. You can make a beautiful vegetarian salad, and then my flex tip is to add the meatballs. Please let me know if you try it for yourself. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you very soon. Bye! <laughs>